Hey, welcome back to Homegrown Country Home Place, friends. How y'all doing today? Well, y'all, today I'm going to be working on my Dirty Hands 22-ton wood splitter. I guess about a year, year and a half ago, my um, cylinder right here started leaking hydraulic fluid right here. So I got a uh, rebuild kit for this cylinder. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and start taking it off. And I'll be taking the cylinder to my shop. But what I'm going to be doing here is just taking this... Uh, loose the line loose right here and uh be taking this uh valve off right here this connection right here with this valve and we just move this out of the way and uh go ahead and take this off right here and take this uh pin out right here and uh, we'll be taking that cylinder to the shop there and we'll go ahead and get it tore down and hopefully the bore inside the cylinder is still good so let me go ahead and get that off there and i'll I'll meet you back there in the shop. Got the uh, line off right here. Also, that valve that was right here. Had to take the two hydraulic lines loose and just screw that valve off and leave you fitting in the um, the valve itself. So now I'm ready to take this off. Take All right, y'all, right here, a little five millimeter uh, hex head bolt I took out. Uh, kind of keeps this plug from pushing out. But uh, there's a snap ring in behind here. And I'm going to have to drive this plug back. So I just got this punch here. And I'm just going to tap this back. Then right here you're going to have this little snap ring. Let me find a... All right. Is that snap ring? slowly coming out i tell you what y'all it's, it's stiff i hope that uh cylinder inside the bore i hope it hasn't been damaged well y'all that's tough well that rod cylinder's tough broke his punch what i had to do i had to hook it between both trucks and pull that piston out hopefully uh my bore right here hasn't been damaged i'm gonna take back in the shop take a close look but y'all that was very hard to get apart and i couldn't get it in the shop so i just had to hook it between uh, both my trucks there so we got it apart so now we can go ahead and start rebuilding it the bore is good in it hey y'all know if y'all can see that right there i've got some pit in my bore in my cylinder right there and i've sanded it and um got it you know sanded the best i can it's Ain't much I can do about that. So hopefully, uh, y'all, it'll, uh, hopefully anyway, it won't leak. Uh, the seals are really bad. It has like falling apart. So maybe that was all the problem was for most part, but that cylinder does have some uh, pit in there.
right, y'all. Well, that took care of it. Uh, I didn't really show the part of rebuilding it because I just need to get done before it got dark. Y'all see it's kind of getting dark on me. But uh, it's pretty basic, pretty much. Um, once you get it apart, the seals and stuff, how they go. Maybe one seal on there, you know, you can turn it backwards. Uh, but there's other videos and stuff showing how to, you know, turn the seals a lip toward the, you know, the oil. So, um, but I'm happy, y'all, that right now, anyway, it's fixed it. But, uh, like I say, you got them pitting in that uh, bore on the cylinder. So, hopefully, um, that won't mess the seals up. But for right now, it looks like it's doing pretty good. It ain't leaking anything. So, um, we're going to see if we can get another... I don't know how many cords that uh, lasted. I think I did like maybe, didn't last long y'all, I thought it would. I, I think it did probably at least 34 cords. Not, that's not face cords, that's actual, you know, four cords of wood before it started leaking. So uh, anyway, I figure I got a little bit more use out of it than that. But anyway, y'all, appreciate y'all coming along. Appreciate y'all watching the videos. And always friends from my family years. Y'all have a blessed day. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.